This is Nicole and her son, AJ. He's just an awesome kid. Like many kids his age, AJ is looking forward to getting behind the wheel. But Nicole is worried. He's always on the phone. It's glued to him. I want my mom to learn how to trust me. Today, I hope AJ learns how to use the phone safely while driving. And there's good reason to be concerned. Cell phones have been involved in an estimated 26% of car crashes. So I introduce AJ to Jen Stockberger. She's the director of operations at Consumer Reports, who specializes in automotive safety. So today we're going to talk about cell phones and using them safely. If you're anything like my kids, AJ, I know that phone isn't too far out. There yeah, it is. There it is. Attached at the hip. I don't go anywhere without it. Yep. I had no doubt. So that's fine when you're not driving, but once you get behind that wheel, there's some safe ways to use it. We're going to talk about that today. We're going to give you a lot of information. I got your back because I'm going to write everything down on this notepad for you, all right? All right. So AJ, if I were to ask you what the safest way to operate your phone in the car would be, what would you say? Mm, just don't use it. You're absolutely right. Put it in the glove box, in the center console. You won't see it light up. You won't be tempted to respond. Do you know about like a do not disturb feature inside your phone? Yes. Ah, activate that. What that does is send a message out to people that are calling or texting that says, hey, I'm driving right now. And you won't feel like you're not responding. They'll understand. The second thing is the technology in the car. Pair it with a Bluetooth system so that you can hear your music, operate the phone, even use voice controls. You can get a call, but your hands are on the wheel and your eyes are on the road. Older cars might not have Bluetooth, but aftermarket systems are available to help you go hands-free. The next things are gonna be out on the road. Once you're connected, let's take a trip. Right. Are you ready for this? Yep. <laughs> Me too, man. Let's do it. We talked about the things you should do before you get on the road. You pair your phone, get everything set. But what about the ones when you're in the car? One of the first things is the navigation system. If you're going to use the navigation, invest in a cell phone now where it clips at eye level. You can just look over much easier, much safer. And it looks cool. And it looks yep. cool. <laughs> the other thing is put your passengers to work. You need to focus on the task of driving. Eyes ahead, hands on wheel. Let your passengers make the call for That'll you. That'll be me, AJ. Ultimately, that important call comes. It's urgent. You know you want to get it. There's a really important text. You need to let someone know where you are. What do you think you should do? Pull over. You're right. Look around. Make sure it's a safe place to pull over. Come to a complete stop. Put the car in park. And only then is it safe to do your texting. Hello, AJ. How are you doing with those safety features, buddy? Good. <laughs> so AJ's learned a lot, but is it enough to earn his mom's trust? So we totally recognize how important phones are to everybody, but hopefully we've given you tools to, to use them safely when you're in your car. Did you learn a lot today? Yes. All right, ready? Quick quiz, go. AJ. Put your phone away. That's check. Use technology. Check. Both in the phone and in the car. Uh, mount your phone. That's yeah. right. Take advantage of your passengers. You got it. And pull over. Oh, you got oh, it. You got great. it. Yeah. Perfect. One final thing, and it's really for us as adults, is we should be the example. It's so tempting to take a call or a text. Don't do it. Because if we don't do it, maybe they won't do it. Oh. Is, is that me? Wait, that's me. I need to take this. Of course it's for him. <laughs>